Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 33 of What's That Pepper series. Today I have a very interesting plant to show you and that is my Franken pepper tree. The plant right now has multiple different grafts on them and the grafts actually produce two different types of fruits. So here they are. So let's go take a, take a look at the plant and then we'll come back and I'll give you a closer look at these. Alright guys, here is what the Franken pepper tree looks like. and. Earlier I was recording the video but I thought it was recording and it didn't and so I picked off the fruit before the video recorded. <laughs> but um, yeah here's the fruits here but let me show you the plant first and then uh, I'll show you some more of the fruits that we're picking and how unique this plant is. So as I mentioned this is the Franken pepper tree and the reason I call that is because it is a mixture of three uh, grafts onto one plant and the tree is pretty nice it's it's not too big it's about uh, maybe three feet tall and uh, it it produces a ton of flowers but the flowers keep dropping because it's so hot right now and I leave this under full sun and every day I have to come out and fill this because it just dries up so quickly so I need to uh, fix the problem but anyway here are some of the fruits here that I have this is the scorpion, yellow, and here's the fruits that I just picked a few minutes ago here. But they don't look as good as this one. This one is the one I'm actually saving for seeds. Look how perfect this one looks. And these two are pretty good looking pods, it's just they're not as good as that one. And I only pick the most perfect pods to save seeds from. That's just my preference. But anyway. Here are the grafts. This is the scotch bonnet grafts and if you locate it up there, there's another tag there and there is the scotch bonnet right there. You see how the skin is really smooth? So that's a scotch bonnet and the scorpion, if you put it close as you can see, they're, they're much more wrink wrinkly and this one as well. And then here the graft is right there. That's where the union healed up and that is a bleeding borg nine. The bleeding borg nine has no fruit because uh, it was just having so many problems but hopefully when the temperature cools down it may produce some. So maybe we'll circle back soon. It has some fruit there and there. So I'm gonna pick that one as well and then I'll show you the difference. Look at that. One is smooth, shiny, and the other one's wrinkly. So you can tell right away they're different varieties. Okay, here are the plants. Very nice looking. So we'll go inside and try this out. Alright guys, here is a closer look at some of the fruits that we collected. This is the Maruga Scorpion. Uh, sometimes people call it Trinidad Maruga Scorpion, sometimes they call it the Yellow Scorpion. But uh, I think a lot of those names are referring to the Maruga Scorpion, the yellow variety. So this variety has multiple colors. Uh, they come in chocolate, red, and yellow. The red one is probably the hottest of all of the variations. And that variety actually goes up to 2 million Scoville units so it was once the hottest pepper in the world but now as you know is the the reaper and here is another one that looks pretty strange so scorpion usually has a little uh, sort of like not too much of a tail but it has this little section right here <laughs> that, that looks really uh, unique to uh, the scorpion and here is the other one, the grafted plant. And this is a, a very, very unique scotch bonnet because I selectively bred these. Um, so they taste much different than the regular scotch bonnet. Okay, so these are the two varieties off of the Franken pepper tree. So let's cut these open and I'll show you what they look like inside. We'll, we'll just put this guy aside because I don't really like the look of that one. Again, I always forget to wear gloves. So if you handle uh, pepper these uh, that are this hot, make sure to wear gloves because 
You could rub that on your eye and it would be real bad. Okay, here is the yellow Maruga scorpion, Trinidad Maruga scorpion yellow, all the different and you can really smell the heat from here. This is one of the hottest pepper in the world. Um, even though this is not as hot as the red, it's still a super hot and it, it, it can do some damage. So let's give it a smell. Wow, it smells, it smells extremely hot. <laughs> so it has a, a, a very strong uh, heat smell, little sweetness. But what you get mostly is, um, you can tell how hot this is by just smelling it. It's just most super hot that are extremely hot. They smell very similar to this. So Marugo scorpions are very, very nice tasting pepper, but they're, they're very dangerous because they're, they're extremely spicy. And the heat on those, uh, similar to the seven pot, they're very consistent. So you're never gonna get one that does not taste hot. Okay, so here's the Scotch bonnet. So there it is. The walls are much thinner and um, a small placenta. It, it looks very much different as you can tell. Thicker wall, thinner wall. Um, the, the inside of the Maruga, it seems very white at the um, placenta. This one has a very, very small placenta. So, uh, I mean, they, they're, they're similar in color, but they look like completely different. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll try the that one first and that. And if it's too hot, then we might just stop the video. All right, guys, here are all the fruits that came off of my Franken tree, a Scotch bonnet variety, and a Trinidad Maruga scorpion yellow. Very pleasant smell, but it smells extremely hot, a little, little sweet. Wow, they, I mean, that, that, that smell just scares me because every time I smell something like that, it just, it's just too hot for me. This one has a, a very similar smell as well, but it smells much sweeter and it's not as strong as that. It has a little bit more of a fruity scent. Wow, I, like, I really like this, the smell of this one. So we'll try the, the Maruga first. And if if it's uh, <laughs> if I make it through this, then we'll we'll try that one. But I've tried Maruga before, and this they're not they're no joke. They're crazy hot peppers. So, <laughs> so small small piece as always because that's enough for me to tell you how hot it is. And these super hots, the reason I like them is because. It, it's strange, but once you eat them, you, you, you get really, really hot and you, you know, you're like crying and stuff. But then once the heat goes away, you want to eat some more of it. <laughs> and for peppers, I never don't like a pepper because, you know, they all are good in their own ways. And um, it's like wine and beer and whiskey. You know, you really don't hate uh, any particular one. You just prefer one over the other because... That, that flavor or taste is just match up with your preference. And that's the same thing with pepper. I like most of them, but there's some that I don't like uh, or prefer less. Okay, so Maruga scorpion, small piece. Very thick wall, sweet. No heat yet. Yep, the heat's coming. <laughs> Very hot. S 
slow burn, but um, consistent burn. Just a good overall burn, but man, it's, that's nothing like the, the Staracha F2 that I just did. Wow, this is this is a very good pepper because uh, it's hot, but it's not extreme hot. That's probably because I haven't gotten to the the center. So, um, if you eat them in small pieces, they could be very very good on on food or it. Might, this one might be really good for cooking. The yellow variety has more of a citrus flavor, sweeter than uh, uh, to me than the chocolate one. Uh, the chocolate, I, I grew the chocolate before and that thing is crazy. Mm, burning all of its tongue. Some here as soon as you swallow, but the burn is very evenly um, distributed across your mouth and throat. And uh, it's not the extreme burn that, um, that I was afraid of. Ooh, still hot though. Sweating already through my head. Yeah, it's um, overall a good pepper, uh, not too extreme heat. <laughs> so we'll put that aside and I'll try this one here. It's, it's still pretty hot. So I hope that the, the, the heat of that doesn't hasn't numbed my tongue so that I couldn't taste any of this. I think in, in the previous video when I I ate, I ate the sweet misery. I ate the red one first and that just numbed my whole mouth and then when I ate the green I taste nothing. And a lot of the people commented and they said that exactly the same thing. <clears throat> wow, this is still hot. Okay, we'll we'll try this one. Very nice smell. Small piece it is. I should wear gloves, but I always forget. Wow, very sweet. Crunchy. Mm, very good flavor. No heat. Well, actually, there might be heat, but it's the, the one previously probably like numb it. Oh. I swallow a, a bubble. <clears throat> Right down the throat area. <coughs> Whew. Yeah, the Scotch bonnet is definitely not as hot as that one because this probably numbed my taste bud already. So that the, when I ate the Scotch bonnet, <laughs> it was very, very pleasant. All I taste was the sweetness. It's much crunchier. It smelled better. I want to try the, the scorpion again, but I'm, I, I've done that mistake so many times when I ate the second piece and it just destroyed me. Sweating through my head already. I think this is heat from the scorpion still. And then when I ate this kind of bonnet, it just has a little bit more heat, so it, it, it starts all over again. Yeah, definitely um, Maruga, Scorpion, any of the Maruga are just great peppers in general. They have a very nice fruity flavor, good sweetness, and heat is very extreme. And um, as I mentioned, this one was very difficult for me to grow because I guess I started so late in the season. Uh, or so early in the season that the weather is just affecting it and now it's so hot that all the buds are dropping but the, the plant it looks very very pretty so uh, hopefully when the uh, weather cools down a bit it'll produce much more because every year that's exactly what happened to all the other plants once the weather drop temperature and they just pump out pots like there's no tomorrow so uh, there it is guys uh, my Franken pepper tree Trinidad Maruga, Scorpion Yellow, salivating, and Scotch Bonnet. I have a Bleeding Borg 9 that didn't produce anything, but if it uh, if it does, I'll, I'll circle back at a later time. 
Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.